ISRO recently appointed a new chief, Dr. S. Somnath. The senior rocket scientist said that the space agency will conduct five major satellite launches in the coming three months as he briefed the Minister of Science and Technology, Dr. Jitendra Singh. The ISRO chairman presented a brief about the forthcoming missions during the next three months, which include the RICAT 1 APSLV C 52 launch scheduled for February this year, followed by the launch of OceanSat 3 and INS 2B Anand PSLV C 53 in March and SSLV D1 Micro ICT in April of 2022. Meanwhile, ISRO will also launch GSAT 21, the first fully funded satellite by the new Space India Limited or NSIL. The communication satellite will be developed and operated by NSIL to meet the direct to home or DTH application needs. Following the meeting, the minister said that under Prime Minister Narendra Modi, during the next few years, India's ascent to the top will be heralded via the space route. Briefing the minister on India's maiden manned mission, Gaganyan, Somnath said that there had been a delay in the timeline because of the COVID-19 and other constraints, but now things have again fallen back on track and all the systems needed for the first unmanned mission are being ready. As per reports, ISRO is planning to launch the first uncrewed mission under Gaganyan in 2022, following which the second unmanned mission, Vyon Mitra, will carry a robot and this will then be followed by the manned mission. The ISRO chairman said that the selected Indian astronauts have successfully undergone genetic space flight training in Russia and an ad hoc astronaut training centre has also been established at Bangalore. After being appointed as ISRO chief for a term of three years, the senior scientist said that India needed new players in the space sector to make economically viable programs.